There are so many wasted urban spaces on rooftops, on footpaths, on roundabouts, particularly in our cities, that could easily be transformed into edible food gardens. I'm Indira and I do, and I'd love to tell you about my new book, The Edible City. It's about my five favourite gardens across Australia that are all growing food in really unusual places, usually wasted urban spaces. And these beautiful communities then grow the most amazing organic produce. And based on their produce, I've also put together 40 delicious seasonal recipes. Well, I'm here at the Wayside Chapel in King's Cross in Sydney. Their garden, unusually, is on their rooftop and it's run by their local homeless visitors. They run the garden, they look after it, and then all the produce that they grow and harvest is used downstairs in their cafes. It's a wonderful sustainable model in so many aspects. Reducing the impact of the building and the garden on the environment. So all these gardens are helping the various communities connect, come closer together, grow more nutritious food, uh, improve their health and well-being. And that's been one of the beautiful parts of this story, of showing the huge impact that gardens and food gardens can have on people's lives. None of us are fabulous gardeners, but we've created a beautiful garden here and lots of people do seem to be interested in rooftop gardens. A lot of food has come out of this garden where it's been cooked up give it out. That's like something pretty great. Sometimes it's not just about growing things, sometimes it's about growing those connections with other people in your community that are just as important. The more food we can grow ourselves, the cheaper our food will be, the fresher and tastier and more nutritious. So I hope this book, The Edible City, encourages more communities to grow their own food and to see how simple it is for everyone to do it.